we will welcome everybody to episode number 14 of our Flatten the Curve video blog. I am Daniel Fong from MoveUp's communications department, and today I have the pleasure to be joined by Kathleen Todd, a part of our MoveUp family at ICBC. And we're here to talk about campaigning, but not the one that everyone is thinking about. Uh, but first off, welcome, Kathleen. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. Now, I know right now we're in the middle of a provincial election period, obviously, and just as a reminder to everyone, make sure you get out to vote on October 24th if you have not already done so through mail-in ballots or um, advanced voting. But uh, today we're not here to talk about that type of campaign. We're actually here to talk about the annual United Way campaign that's happening at ICBC. Now, a few weeks ago, we had Antara, who is a uh, Move Up job steward from BC Hydro, and she was on with, um, with us talking about how they're supporting United Way this year. Uh, before we get too much uh, into detail about this year's campaign at ICBC, however, uh, Kathleen, can you give us a brief overview of the history that our members have, um, the workers at ICBC, supporting the United Way? Because I know it's such a rich and long history. Yeah, so this year is actually going to be our 46th campaign. So as you mentioned, a very long and rich uh, history. Um, and our employees are an incredibly dedicated group of people. Um, they're dedicated to giving back to their communities um, that they live, work, and play in. Um, and every year they come with so much enthusiasm. In your personal opinion, um, why do you think that this campaign has been able to touch the hearts of ICBC workers year in, year out? And why are the um, workers at ICBC so generous in giving back to the communities through the United Way? And, you know, that's really on top of their day jobs, which is to serve our communities throughout uh, BC every day. Yeah. So I think part of the reason is the campaign brings such a sense of community within our corporation. Uh, we have a very large population of people that work across the province, um, and it's something that unites us all. Um, it also just aligns with our corporate strategy. Um, and by nature, our group is just such a generous bunch. Um, they're always willing to help, um, whether it be with the United Way campaign or outside of the workplace or one another. All right, you know what, um, you said it um, fantastically. Um, you, you're right, uh, I met a lot of the people who work at ICBC, and I know they're a very, very generous bunch when it comes to giving back to their community. Um, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about this year's campaign, um, because I always marvel when I see the uh, the past year's campaign at ICBC. Uh, I, I, I see a lot of uh, chances to have fun, engaging activities to get all the members involved, um, you know, uh, everything from paper airplane tosses, barbecues, lunches, you know, those types of things. But obviously right now we are in the COVID world and that means a physically distanced world um, because you know, it's important to keep all of our loved ones safe. Um, what are some of the challenges, but also some of the opportunities of running a campaign where we can't gather in large groups? Yeah, so this year I'd say one of the biggest challenges is kind of what you just spoke about, which is missing the fundraising events that we traditionally do. Um, that airplane toss is, um, famous around here. Everyone talks about it. Everyone loves it. Um, again, it's that bringing everyone together. So I'd say that's one of the biggest challenges is just, um, you know, working through the disappointment of not being able to do some of the things we've done in previous years. Um, but with that, our group, um, they thrive on challenge. And um, so it's given us the opportunity instead to reimagine our campaign this year and um, to just think outside of the box and be really unique about how we're going to engage our employees um, so that we still have that sense of community, giving back to our communities, and uh, they're ready to go and show their local love this year. Now, I've had the pleasure um, on this platform to chat with Neil Adolph, and he is the Director of Labor Participation for the United Way of the Lower Mainland, and someone who is just so passionate about all the amazing things that the United Way does, um, things like the Period Promise Campaign or the Acts of Local Love. And I know when the COVID-19 pandemic hit, some of those programs uh, that they do became even more critical, um, like the Local Love Food Hubs or the Volunteer Initiative to connect people with others in their community that need help. And that can be anything from you know picking up food or dropping off supplies or even just having a phone call to check in chat. Um, for you personally, is there something that stands out um, that the United Way does that you want to highlight? Yeah, so a couple of things. I think one of the big ones for me that stands out is one of those initiatives to combat social isolation, especially among our senior population. Um, and just speaking from my own personal experience, um, I've had the fortune to make some of those phone calls to connect with people, um, and it has been such a gift to me as well. Um, 
um, to connect with people all over. Um, I'm in the North Shore, and that's the group of people I speak to. Um, just hearing their stories, having that moment of connection, um, you know, beyond all of the struggles everyone's dealing with, um, that human connection can make a huge difference in somebody's day. So um, I would definitely say that stands out for me. Uh, not a lot of people maybe know about, but you know, you're right. Just having that connection is just so important. Yeah. Um, and you know, speaking of connection, uh, we are nearing the halfway point of this year's campaign at ICBC. Uh, and as we get closer to wrapping up here, uh, do you want to take a moment just to say a message to all of your colleagues at ICBC about how they can still get involved if they haven't done so already? Yeah, so first thing I would love to say to my colleagues is uh, for all of those that have already volunteered, thank you so much. Uh, this campaign would not be possible without them. Um, and for those that would still love to get involved, they can reach out to any one of their, their United Way reps within their locations or me directly, and I can help them get all signed up. Um, and just that we're, we're rearing to go, again, uh, to show our local love for our communities, and our campaign will be running until October 28th. Perfect. Kathleen, it has been such a pleasure. I want to say thank you for joining us. I want to say thank you to everyone at ICBC that has contributed to this year's United Way campaign so far, and will uh, continue to do so until the end of the campaign, and hopefully beyond as well. Um, and then, of course, uh, for everybody, um, stay safe. And in between the time that you're supporting this uh, United Way campaign, also make sure to uh, get out to vote on October 24th. Thank you, Daniel.